how bad is inflation now? Is it just a bit bad? Horrible? Is it a complete disaster? The United States Bureau of Labor released information about the Consumer Price Index, or the CPI, on the 10th of February this year. The Consumer Price Index is too damn high. the weighted average of the price of a basket of consumer goods and services, such as food, electricity, transportation, medication, and it basically serves as a primary indicator to understand how bad is inflation. Now, this US report shows that the index rose 7.5% over the last 12 months, and this is basically the worst it has been in the last 40 years. It's important to mention that this 7.5% is just the average of every item on this list. For example, fuel is up 46.5%, energy is up 27%. This increase in fuel and energy costs basically means that every single thing that needs to be manufactured or transported will also cost more. Now this 7.5% could also be worse. You see, I'm from Hungary and in Hungary we know a thing or two about inflation. In 1946 we had the worst inflation in the history of inflation maybe ever. After World War II, the Hungarian government wanted to stimulate the economy by printing more money. Now, long story short, it didn't quite work out well, things went out of control, and by 1946, the inflation was hitting over 100,000% on a daily basis. It's over 9,000! What 9,000? One US dollar was worth a bazillion of Hungarian pengas, exactly 4.6 times the 10 to the power of 29, which is ton of zeros I can't even fit on the screen. The craziest banknote ever printed was the 1 milliard Biltenge, which is 10 to the power of 21. It's insane. Of course, this couldn't go on much longer, and eventually the penge was replaced with our today's currency, the Hungarian forint. Now, this was just a short detour to highlight that excessive money printing leads to disastrous results. Compared to Hungary in 1946, this 7.5% inflation actually doesn't seem that bad. However, it must also be noted that over 80% of all the US dollars in circulation were printed over the last 22 months. Considering this, the 7.5% inflation is actually not that bad and I'm afraid it could get worse in the future. Now, if you look at the Eurozone, the situation is actually not that much different. The annual inflation in the Eurozone is 5.1% based on the HICP, the Harmonized Index of Consumer Prices. The luckiest country in the Eurozone was France with 3.3% inflation, but there are also the likes of Lithuania which suffered over 12% inflation over the last 12 months. That's a percent per month. And of course, if you look at the countries that are not part of the Eurozone and have their own currencies, the situation is actually even a bit worse. Countries such as Hungary, Poland, Romania, Czech Republic, Bulgaria, they all have an inflation in the range between 8 to 10 percent, which is fairly bad again for a one year period. And if you look at the money supply in Europe, it's not that bad compared to the United States. However, in the last 22 months, it also increased by approximately 25 percent. So, what does it all mean to you watching this video? Well, in short, it can be generally said that saving money right now is not the best idea. Of course, it's very, very important that you have some kind of an emergency fund just in case something goes wrong. However, if you put aside larger sums of money, you will eventually just see it being eaten away by the effect of inflation. And that's not a very nice thing to see. So my strategy here is to look for investment opportunities that hedge the impact of inflation. Now, of course, it's not investment advice here. However, I can tell you what I consider interesting for this purpose. I mainly look at possibilities in cryptocurrency and real estate space and I will talk a bit about it in my next videos which you will be able to see here once it's ready. With that said, thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.